In this video, a full 3D touchperson project is provided. Player controller and animation completed with keyboard buttons. Learn how to add touching buttons with joystick. Use free symbol node to create all buttons and joystick events. Multi-touch are supported. Player can walk, run, zoom, animations, rotate camera. You can play it with two or three fingers, even more. Joystick with a pointer that always follow the touch position. Everything in one this video. Let's get started. You can download the full 3D Touchperson project with this link. After open, it can work immediately. Player can walk, run, zoom with animations. This is what we did in part 1 to 6 from the Touch Person tutorial series. There is only one script, player controller. That's we using keyboard buttons to move player. Download this folder free with link under video. There are some icons that we can use for our joystick. Select all of these icons, turn them into 2D sprites. Create new UI, image, add joystick icon to this object. The current icon is too small because my game screen resolution is 4K currently. I need to set up the scale size of canvas UI to fix it. This will fix the wrong size and position of UI objects in bigger devices. Move this icon to the left corner of the screen. Change its name to Icon Joystick. Create another UI image inside object Icon Joystick. This will be Icon Pointer. It's the circle that follows the user's touch position. Set this size smaller. Do the same to create button run. Move it to the right corner. and set this bigger. Duplicate to create button jump. Next, we must create moving touch area. If user touch this area, player will move. Move it to the left center of the screen. Make its size to cover half of the screen. The right size of the screen will be the touch area to rotate camera.
at Collider Two D for it too, because we use Touch Area Subref to do it. We created it in last video. You can watch it again. Set Collider size same as its size. Duplicate it to create rotating area. If user touch this area, rotate the camera. Move it to the right side of the game screen. I will change it another color that you can see it better. If touch down on button jump, player will jump. Use on pointer down to get touch down event. Input this will be button jump. If touch down on button zoom, this event will be triggered. Add new custom event, rest button zoom. We're going to move this custom event to player zoom event. Search for zoom event, we made already with a keyboard button. Remove the keyboard button. Then replace it with our new custom event. Now press play to see the result. Open folder joystick. Open this script to get event to use. We use this event for multi-touch on joystick. Copy it. If you have Visual Script in Plus, it is located in Macro Pointer. To understand how to create these events, Watch the last video. You see the same, copy this. Open player controller. Paste it here. The button or working area must have 2D Collider. We added 2D Collider to it already. But we need a touch area that cover on the game screen. Set its size to cover on the game screen. You can see it will cover on the touch area even on the bigger devices. Pointer event can detect image that is on the top of UI only. So touch area must be put on the top layer of UI. When touch area is over the button jump, we cannot click on the button jump anymore. If you move button jump to the top layer of UI, it can be clicked again. Open our script. Add touch area object and move an area object to our event. If any touches in working area, let's show the touch position. Press play. It will print out the position of the current touch 
inside walking area. Delete this debug log message. Let's add the touch position to a variable to easier to call it. Now, search for the movement events of player. This is player movement. We made it with keyboard buttons. After button is pressing, call a custom event to move player. Copy this custom event. Remember to disable the keyboard button. If a touch on a walking area, we call this custom event. This custom event will move our player. But it needs an input argument move vector. Let's open this script again. Move vector will be the direction of two points. We're going to use this one to do it. If you're using Visual Scripting Plus, it will be inside macro no macro. Copy this event to use. Move vector is the direction from icon joystick to the current touch position. But the input argument is a 3D direction with X and Z values only. We need to convert our 2D direction to a 3D direction value. Z value will be Y value in 2D direction. Y values is for jumping. We don't use it here. Move vectors is the direction from icon joystick. To the current touch position. All done is a lot easier than keyboard buttons. Press play and touch at walking area, player will move. It works very well in all directions. Let's do animation walk while player is moving. This custom event will do animation walk, just copy it. Paste it after player movement event. If player stop walking, it will play animation idle. If no touch at walking area, play animation idle. Press play to test it. While player is walking, play animation walk. And if player stop walking, play animation idle. This event will rotate player to the direction is in moving. Disable this event. We will create it again with touching. Copy this, we need to use it to rotate player in third person game. Rotate player if player is moving. 
there are three input arguments moving angle, main camera, and cut model. Model is our 3D cutter. It has type model. Camera is our main camera object. Now we just need to find out value of moving angle. Move angle is the angle from icon joystick and current touch position. Open this script to get event to use. We can use this to get to the angle between two points here. If you have Visual Scripting Plus, it will be inside Macro No Macro. Copy this event. Move angle is the angle from icon joystick and the current touch position. Position 1 will be icon joystick position. Position 2 is the current touch position. This event will return the angle between two positions, and it will be the angle that player is moving to. Press play and test it. Player can rotate at the direction he's walking to. We use this event for rotating camera too. Make sure your rotating area have collider 2D already. If user touch this rotating area, camera will be rotated. Now, let's search for Rotate Camera Event. Disable mouse input that's used to rotate camera. And disable this update event to create new custom event that will be called from our touch event. If any touch in rotating area, this custom event will be called I will not remove this variable, you can use it again anytime you want. Additional direction of mouse X, mouse Y will not work for touches. We need to create a new argument. It will keep direction X, Y of current touch position. X value will be the direction of touch in X axis and Y will be the direction of touch in Y axis. Now we need to find out direction of the touch position and add it to this argument. We already have event to get the direction from two points. Let's copy and use it again. Direction from touching positions will be 
direction from last touch position to the current touch position. Position 1 will be the last touch position. Position 2 is the current touch position. After camera rotate event is done, set value for last touch position. It's done. Let's test it on the real phone. Connect your phone with a cable and follow this step to turn on remote. Press play to see the result. Camera rotating with touches is working. I'm testing it on a very slow device. This still works very well. But there is one issue here. When player is not moving, press jump button. It didn't play animation idle when player touched the round. We have this event to play animation idle when player not moving. Copy it again. Add round check event. Add it at the end when player touch a round object. But we are using on trigger stay. It will trigger many times. So let's add not once to play animation idle one time only. When player left any ground objects, reset this one's event. Try it again. Animation idle works now. Let's do the same to add button run with touch. Make sure you added a collider 2D to this button run. Scale its size to cover on the button. Next, add the touch event. Input button will be the name of button run. Anytime a touch enter the button, player will run faster. And turn off the run if no touch on the button run. We use pointer enter and pointer exit event to do that. Now, let's search player run event to add this custom event in. Disable the keyboard button. And add our touch events in. Button run has worked. Last thing, when you touch in button run and move around, the camera is moved through. The reason is button run stayed on a rotating area. To resolve it, we just need to move this rotating area away from button run. This will work, but we still have a second way. Select rotating area. Add a polygon collider to it instead.
first at random some points. Now adjust this collider to cover any location you want. All areas around button run and button zoom can rotate the camera now. You can set any areas with Polygon Collider. Turn on touch areas to invisibles, then press play. This is our final result. You can move player as any games on the phone now. With only one simple note, you can add many buttons as you want. It works very well, even you use two or three fingers, even more. Whenever a touch in working area that moves player, it will move the pointer icon from the joystick too. Add new custom event. This event will reposition of the icon pointer. Add it at the end of working event. It needs an input argument, the current touch position. Icon pointer will follow this touch position as always. First, add touch position to a flow variable to easier to call it. There are two conditions. Current touch position is inside icon joystick. And another one is touch outside of the icon joystick. We use overlap point to see if touch is inside or outside the icon joystick. Point is the current touch position. Touch position is inside icon joystick if it is true. If true, reposition icon pointer to the touch position. Get the name of icon pointer. If any touch inside icon joystick, set icon pointer to the touch position. If the current touch is outside of the icon joystick, set icon pointer position at the border of icon joystick. To get position at border of icon joystick, we get the nearest position from icon joystick to the current touch position.
This event will return a position at border of icon joystick. Everything works perfect. Now you know how to add any buttons for any mobile games. You can download this template touch person game with keyboard buttons and the final result with touch in the links under video. Thank you for watching.